Hello Zwifters, welcome to another episode of How to Run on Zwift. Today we're going to be highlighting a new feature of some of the higher end Garmin watches. It's a feature called the Virtual Run Profile. Essentially what it means is Garmin watches, the higher end Garmin watches, are now Zwift compatible. Directly Zwift compatible. So if you own a Garmin 245 or a Garmin Forerunner 945 or also soon the Fenix or Phoenix, why do I always say Fenix? The Garmin Phoenix 6 watches, they will also have this update soon, the virtual run profile. So you know as you normally go on your watch you select um, run or pool swim or treadmill run or trail run or whatever it might be, there's now a new option or there will be a new option called virtual run. So what exactly does this mean? Well, if we go to the Zwift pairing screen and I select the virtual run profile on my watch, you can see that we now have the option to pair the watch within Zwift. Fantastic, because all these people with the older Garmin footpod that only broadcasts in Ant Plus or any other Ant Plus peripherals, they can now connect those peripherals to their watch and the watch will now rebroadcast those devices to Zwift. So you can run with your old Garmin footpod or if you've got an old Ant Plus chest strap, those will now pair directly with Zwift. So essentially, this virtual run profile can act as a bridging device. You may have heard of the North Pole Engineering cable device or the Viva heart rate strap or the Viva 4i chest strap, they rebroadcast those AMP Plus signals as Bluetooth signals so Zwift can read them. This is particularly useful if you only use Zwift on an iOS device or an Android device that, that doesn't read Ant Plus signals. If you're using a computer, a Mac or a PC, you can still plug in a USB Ant Plus dongle and that will read your Ant Plus signals. What is fantastic about this feature is that for all those people who like to record their runs on their watch as well as on Zwift, your pace will be exactly the same on your watch as on Zwift and therefore your distance should be there or thereabouts the same as well. It kind of depends when you start and stop your watch and when you start and stop running on Zwift. But essentially you'll get the same speed, the same pace on your watch and the same pace in Zwift because you're using the same device to record your speed. So let's just run through a little setup of the watch. So here we select the virtual run profile. And what we need to do now is uh, pair our devices. Uh, so you could, uh, for example, use the optical heart rate on your watch and the internal accelerometer on your watch. Now, I would not advise using the internal accelerometer on your watch. Wrist-based speed, using the vibration or the movement of your wrist up and down to get your pace in Zwift is really not a very good idea. It's, it's not going to work great, it's not going to give you an accurate pace, accurate speed um, on the treadmill, on Zwift, in any, in any situation. So it's just not going to work. Please don't do that. Try and use a foot pod. But you can also use your optical heart rate or you could pair a chest strap and you can pair an external foot pod. Here, I've actually paired my MyRun treadmill. So my treadmill broadcasts a Bluetooth signal that my watch can actually pick up. So I'm pairing my Bluetooth treadmill with my watch and then I'm going to repair it through my watch into Zwift. So we've paired our heart rate monitor and our foot pod or, or the, uh, the treadmill here. And then we go into Zwift and we select the Garmin 245 as it is here as our speed and cadence sensing device. Now the watch will not allow you to start an activity without being paired with Zwift. So you can't actually press start on your watch if you're not paired with Zwift. Just do remember that. You do need to actually pair with Zwift. 
So once you've paired your devices on the watch and you've paired the watch with Zwift, then everything should be set up and ready to go. Now it's up to you to be able to start the treadmill and start your watch at exactly the same time and finish it exactly the same time. So you've got the same time on your watch and the same time on your treadmill or on Zwift and also the same distance. That's up to you. Don't blame me if you forget to start your watch until a little bit later or you keep walking on the treadmill after you've stopped your watch. If you keep walking on the treadmill and you've already stopped your watch, your distance and your time are going to be different. Please don't complain on the Zwift Runners Forum if they are. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Enjoy your Garmin 245, 945 or your Fenix 6 virtual run profile. Take care. Bye-bye. See you next time.